Good afternoon to everyone and welcome to today's session. <clears throat> Still the memories of the last need PG are lingering in the mind. How many of you are uh, the did not take the last need PG? All of you have taken one round of need PG, right? We welcome our online students, Dr. Akshara, students of Vizag, Guntur, Vikas, Manu, Nina, etc. <clears throat> so, uh, there was a huge speculation about the degree of toughness of the questions, but they were all more or less moderately built, moderately nourished kind of questions in the actual need PG. <clears throat> Probably examiner will get some more time this year to frame little tougher questions, assuming. So for a few weeks our exams will be relatively on a tougher mode. Sometime from the month of September the mock test we will make it more and more easier, but until then will have more conceptually oriented uh, questions. <clears throat> so let us make the great start. A coal worker has inhaled large black deposits. So possibly it is the alveolar macrophages which are responsible for providing the immunity. So also whenever there is any alveolar hemorrhage, it is the macrophages which will be hemosiderin laden is uh, uh, macrophages is what you typically come across. You have done the gallbladder biopsy, what is the type of epithelium? One of the questions, there are totally 20 questions in anatomy in the neat PG. So it is simple columnar epithelium. <clears throat> now currently in our regular session we are in ophthalmology, Monday to Friday. Once ophthalmology is over, our next subject in our regular classes every day evening 5 to 8 is anatomy. So we will discuss during that time all the common questions in anatomy. So epithelium is one question doctor, lot of times questions uh, are asked in the exam. Now what is the main function of lacteals in the small intestine? Very easy question. Chylomicron absorption is what is basically done by them. Now if you take the lymph, it is carried to the lymph node by a afferent lymphatic vessels. So where will they drain basically into? It is a subcapsular sinuses into which they will be ultimately draining into. Now who provides that nourishment to the chondrocytes, mature chondrocytes? It is the diffusion which is the main mechanism because basically cartilage is a vascular structure. So nutrients which are supporting the chondrocytes, they will be diffusing from the blood vessels, peripheral to the tissue. Oh, this is the very easy question. You know foramen magnum is in the posterior cranial fossa, it is not in the middle cranial fossa, no big challenge. Now, which foramina does not carry the emissary vein? Let us open this up for the quiz. Please punch your answer, doctor. <clears throat> because we have 240 questions. To conduct all 240 questions in a quiz mode is difficult. Some questions in the middle, I wanted to call your response. So don't go through the explanatory booklet. Is it already given? So don't go through the explanatory booklet. So give me one answer. Very good. Hiru is proposing foramen cecum. You all agree with foramen cecum? Very good. How about our other classmates from Guntur, Vizag, Tirupati? Ask them to punch the answers. Yes. What is your possible answer, doctor? So, foramen cecum, condylar canal, mastoid foramen, all of them will transmit. All of them will transmit. Kiru was also clean bold. So 
anterior and posterior ethmoidal foramina they transmit anterior and posterior ethmoidal arteries and nerves not the emissary veins is what we have to fundamentally remember a hockey player is having uh, a compression syndrome unable to dorsiflex the foot and there is a decreased dorsalis pedis now give me one confident answer doctor which nerve is responsible it is a deep peroneal nerve right in the anterior compartment so in the anatomy we are going to discuss after we finish our ophthal session anterior lateral compartment what are the muscles what is the innervation the common issues which are asked by the examiner so that is the reason any rupture of the vessels can lead to build up of the pressure in the compartment and can lead to compartment syndrome is what we have to ultimately remember <clears throat> now uh, let's take up the next question this question is open for a quiz please punch your answers a 65 year old right sided weakness therapist has discovered that he is speaking fluently but the content is incomprehensible there are two types of aphasias broca's and wernicke's so which is uh, the problem in articulation and which is the problem with uh, um, they can't understand comprehension so which is what who will give me a confident answer <clears throat> i think our online students need to wake up from sleep and punch the answers then only we will be knowing what you understood by this question yeah what is your answer doctor from the floor in nampali students live class yeah dr tulasi what is your answer you like to say inferior division of the left middle cerebral artery huh why you did not prefer uh, superior division and why did you prefer left is there any specific reason first of all is it wernicke's or broca's ha huh? wernicke's very good excellent one big clap goes to tulasi are you are not clapping somebody who dared to answer correctly that's important doc so wernicke's is nonsensical content with a normal articulation with an abundance of words is wernicke's it is typically seen if there is any impairment of the superior temporal lobe of the dominant hemisphere left hemisphere which is supplied by the inferior division of the left middle cerebral artery circle of willis doctor you need to be 100% confident let me check is my voice is clear for everybody or do we need to increase the voice find out <clears throat> yeah so please punch whether the voice is clear or not that makes me reassured yeah very good now the anal columns typically the anal columns contain which important structure out of all this what is your guess some confident guess work voice is clear says kiru very good yeah kiru what is your answer for the anal columns femida is also online very good so please give me one answer you like to say internal pudendal vessel you want to try some other answer if suppose if i say that is wrong answer what is your second preference huh you like to say pudendal nerve or vessel so that's very important anatomy 20 marks to solve in neat pg is a breathtaking experience so superior rectal vessels typically the superior rectal artery and vein their terminal branches are what you find in the case of uh, the longitudinal ridges is what you have to basically understand 
Now, the cell passes through various cycles and there are some mediators which will decide how the transition from one phase to the other phase will occur. So, mitotic phase of the cell, which one will trigger the cell to enter into the mitotic phase of the cell cycle? Who will give me a confident answer? Yes. Our online students today need to actively punch their answers. Tell Tirupati Guntur Vizag to did they leave because of the hot summer. Guntur and Vizag are uh, and Tirupati are on the pan of uh, heat. And uh, after all, we are a we run non-air conditioned classes. So <clears throat> question number eleven. Very good. Hero is proposing cyclin B. What is your answer? You also agree with him? Excellent. So to enter the mitosis, the M phase promoting factor, which is cyclin B C D2, is the one which needs to be remembered. Gel Wedger syndrome is basically the problem with which subcellular organ is doctor? Huh? Peroxisome. I think this is a very, very easy and achievable answer. So a good number of questions will have this kind of uh, uh, achievable answers. A pathologist is studying the cerebrum by light microscopy and he found that uh, there is a structure which has both granular and fibrous component. Possibly which is that structure and what is its main function? Which subcellular organelle possibly it is? It is a 8th class biology question fundamentally. Uh, still we are asking you for the MD entrance. Give me a guess. You like to say protein trafficking? Protein, what is your answer Tulsi? Huh? A or D? C. C for cat. Protein packaging. No doctor. What we have and describing is a nucleolus. Nucleolus is important for the ribosomal RNA synthesis is what need to be remembered. That's good. Then uh, collagen is widely distributed and most abundant. Which type? Types of collagen and their abnormalities is a favorite question of the examiner. So what is your answer doctor? You like to say type 1? Anybody like to sport with any other answer? Type 1, Kiru, please Kiru mention which question number and then uh, punch, that will make the life easier for us. Kiru is proposing B, I don't know, B for earlier question or this. So, very good, one big clamp, big clamp to our classmate, type 1, so that's good, type 1. 45 year old, elasticity is increased, I think very easy question, what is your answer? L. Danlos or Marfan? L. Danlos, L. Danlos, very good, Vizag is now answering, please Vizag, you also please mention question number and punch your answer, that makes easy, very good, it is L. Danlos, classically, where there is a Anomalies which involve the skin, the blood vessel fragility and the joint problems, aortic aneurysm, subluxation of the lens, etc, etc. Now, a tumor compresses a structure in jugular foramen. Which autonomic deficit is expected to happen? So, for that you need to know what passes through the jugular foramen. So, what is your possible answer? You like to say decrease secretions of the parotid gland. Why, doctor? Parotid gland is by the secretomotor fibers come from the auricular temporal, which has an origin from otic ganglion, glossopharyngeal, etc. So you like to propose glossopharyngeal, right? So question number 16. Weizang is proposing B. Horner will sympathetic chain pass through jugular foramen? No, no. It is the uh, so, any other answer? Superb. Very good, doctor. 
must be anatomy was your favorite subject in uh, MBBS days. Which college is your from, doctor? Tirupati, yeah? Very good. Tiru, very good. So, we have some classmates of you in Tirupati here. Your good name? Leela? So, we have, Le please sit. Leela from Tirupati Medical College, who is among our classroom students here. Superb. Good answer.